So look, y'all, if y'all want to invest in the membership or the Patreon, those links will be in the description and in the comments. The membership just got activated by YouTube. So I, I just created a membership. That's a separate community from, uh, you know, the regular uh, YouTube community. That's a membership where we're building our own ecosystem within the membership. So we're still looking for our members uh, to start up that ecosystem. Okay, so if you guys and gals out there want to uh, build with me, okay, you can join the membership uh, or the Patreon, okay, and we can get started, okay, those links will be in the description and in the comments, and you can just tap the join button, okay, uh, right here to quickly join, okay, so, um, yeah, uh, that's the membership right there, all right, so, um, look, y'all, when we look at everything that is going on on the charts uh, i am not worried i'm actually looking for some lows some new lows because um the thing is just right here uh i still believe that you will not see uh, a lot of these prices in the future now a lot of individuals may look at this and cringe and say you know but the the, the uh the charts is going down you know what's going on i'm losing money number one you're not losing money Okay, you're not losing money unless you sell at a loss. If you sell right now, if you're in the negative, okay, or you, if you're in low fluctuation, because I don't like attaching negative, anything uh, negative related to, say, Tama, all right, um, but if you're in low fluctuation, because that's, that is what this is, all right, look at this. Look at the charts. All right, the charts is fluctuating, right? This is, flu this is called fluctuation right here, right? So if you're in low fluctuation, instead of high fluctuation okay and you and you uh and you sow on a low fluctuation then that's when you lose you do not lose nothing okay on low fluctuation by holding you only lose money when you sell at low fluctuation okay or you sow or you sell under your initial what your initial investment uh purchase was that's when you lose something so a lot of individuals who are saying that they lost some you didn't lose anything if you didn't sell you just your money is just in low fluctuation which which means that it is going to have the potential to go back up look at this right here when we look at the charts right this is this is high potential right here let's zoom out of the charts all right let's zoom out my internet i can choppy right now okay but look at these highs right here okay we're at, we were as high as two zeros four four Okay, so the thing is this. You know that this is your high potential. You know that this is say Thomas' high potential. You know that say Thomas is eventually going to get back up here because it's a new high for them. All right, we were just at this high on July the 22nd. All right, so you know they're going to get back up here. You know that this project is going to get back up here, but at the moment you're in low fluctuation. Why? Because a lot of individuals started taking returns, uh, you know, from the uh when say Tama hit two zeros four four that's when individuals start taking returns from up here at two two at two zeros four four all right and individuals been taking returns ever since then you're just in low fluctuation all right so you did not lose anything you just have to wait for say Tama to get back up here at his new all-time high all right i'm not talking about this up all time high. i'm talking about this all time high you just have to wait for say Tama to get back up here Okay, and they will eventually get back up here. This project will eventually get back up here, okay, um, because more investors will come in, uh, more confidence will seep back into um, the uh, the project itself. Another reason why individuals are taking returns is to try to put more money into uh, other projects that are pumping uh, throughout the market. Now, when we look at, now when I say that, that's kind of a new thing for me to say because Say so Tama has been moving ahead of the market for quite some time now, okay? Uh, but we can't always expect that trend. But you just got to understand this right here. When it comes to uh, projects having trends like that, not many projects had trends like that anyway. So that was actually a good thing, all right? And it's not realistic for, say, Tama to stay ahead of the market like that because you're going to have individuals take money out. You have to understand, these individuals that, that uh, invested into, say, Tama and had uh, made some returns, uh, you know, during, say, Thomas uh, bull run or whatever like that, okay, um, you have to understand, they made money. They made returns. Now they're taking it out. They're trying to put it into other projects, okay? They're short-term flippers. That is what, that is the trend you are seeing, all right? Because now for the first time in a long time, 
and nope, and a lot of individuals did not want to admit that. You had a lot of individuals that did not want to admit that Saitama was moving ahead of the market. Now all of a sudden, when the market is moving kind of ahead of Saitama, now individuals want to come out of the world works and point that out. Now individuals want to say, look at Saitama on the downtrend and look at the market. Saitama is not worth getting into because they're on the downtrend. Number one, if you're buying everything high and expensive on the market, okay, or whatever like that, uh, that's not smart anyway. You have to understand, people are buying things expensive now. They're buying things at, at the high now. All right? Say, Tom is going low, and for me, myself, I'm buying on the lows. I'm buying on the lows. I bought some other cryptos and all and stuff like that. I bought some OG uh, uh, tokens. Right now, I'm not adding. I was adding when the market was down. I was adding when the market was down. People want to add now when the market is, is, is looking decent. All my OG coins and stuff I have that I was invested in, that I had invested in eight years ago that I still hold, I was adding to those cryptos, those wealth catalysts, okay, um, uh, when the market was down. I'm not adding into those now because the market is up. Right now, I'm adding more to Saitama because now Saitama is down. Do y'all see? When I zig, everybody else zig. Do y'all understand? Zig and zag. All right, so y'all got to look at the big picture, man. Everybody, you know, people, you invest how you want to invest, but the thing is this right here. All right, don't be investing the wrong way and then come up and be like, um, and then criticize somebody else for how they invest. Don't invest the wrong way, okay, and then criticize somebody else for how they invest. Uh, there's not for, there's no wrong time to invest, but when you have a certain agenda and you go against that agenda when it comes to how you invest or whatever like that, all right, then you got to check yourself. All right, invest. High. I don't care if you buy, I don't care if you buy cryptos right at an all time high. I mean, at an yeah, at an all time high. I don't care if you buy certain cryptos at an all time high. Because I know that the now don't mean much. I know that that all-time high is going to have another all-time high 10, 20 years from now. So there's technically, there's no wrong time to invest. All right? Because we're, especially when you're still early, we're still early into crypto. There's no wrong time to invest, especially when you're still early into crypto. These all-time highs are, are low all-time highs. These all, look, the, 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 like this all-time high up here, like the pump all-time high, Okay. The all-time high at 2095, uh, okay, it's not going to be the highest all-time high. We're going to have all-time highs higher than this, okay, especially when, say, Tama reaches 50 cents, a dollar, two dollars, dollar and fifty, you know what I'm saying, three dollars, whatever it may be. These all-time highs, which I think is all-time highs, is small, y'all. It's really small, okay, but, um... Yeah, yeah. Everything, in my opinion, is looking good. Say, Tom is at a low. I've been looking. I've been waiting for it to get to a low. I know that some people do not want to hear that, but um, me myself, I am adding at uh, these lows right here. It's been a while since it's been at two zeros, uh, three one. This is how we have to look at the market, y'all. This is how I've been looking at the market and making investing moves for eight years, and it's paid off. All right. So, um, yeah, y'all. I want to make this video. All right, and remember, y'all, every now will be history tomorrow. All right, and you even have patience in this crypto investing space to lose in the end. You don't want to be a loser, and I will catch all of you beautiful investors later on the up and up. Howdy.